Hey everyone, it's Akshay here and welcome to this video series where we'll be learning how to create the Asteroids game. So let's take a look at the final project. We have the spaceship here which is our main character or player and here we have the trigger button. So whenever we press the trigger button we can press, we can fire lasers to destroy the asteroids. So let's play this really quickly and you can see that we can destroy these asteroids up here and they spawn at random locations at every five seconds. Now this asteroid is following me so let's destroy it really quick and if an asteroid hits you you lose the background turns red and that's the end of the game. So let's take a look at the steps we need to take in order to make this game. So here are the steps to build. You can find this in slide three of the presentation. In step one we need to add the player. In step two we need to add the cloner. This will be the object that clones the asteroids. Step three is to add the center point. The center point will be right behind the player and will allow for the cloner object to rotate around constantly after we do step four, which is give center point the hinge behavior. In step five, we add our first event that says the camera and center point should follow the player. And in step six, we add the control pad behavior so we can move around the player spaceship. In step seven, we turn on general physics for the player and give it some drag. In step eight, we'll add the asteroid object and give it the move towards behavior. So the asteroid object and any clones of it will move towards the player. In step nine, we'll create and assign the master asteroid to the asteroid class. And in step 10, we'll add two arced lines to lock the master asteroid in place. The master asteroid is basically the original asteroid, number one, because we need the first original asteroid to make clones of it. If we don't have anything to clone, we can't do anything. So we need at least one asteroid to define how to make the clones. In step 11, we'll add the laser object and give it to the impact effect. The impact effect will activate whenever the laser hits an asteroid. In step 12, we'll create the laser class and assign that laser to the laser class. In step 13, we'll add the launch object to use as a button. So that's this right here. For steps 14 through 19, they're all events. So for 14, we'll move the lasers. 15, we'll shoot lasers when launch is pressed. 16, we'll remove old laser clones after a few seconds. And in step 17, we'll clone the asteroids in step 18, we'll destroy the asteroid whenever collided with the laser. In step 19, the player will lose when touching the asteroid. So whenever the asteroid hits the player, the background turns red, or anything happens and the player will disappear. So let's start building this. Let's go home, create new, and here we have a blank project. So for step one, let's add a player, name it, and make it a non-solid. So let's go into our library, Go into Artworks and search up for ship. And let's drag in this spaceship right here. After dragging it in, let's move it to the center, make it a little bit bigger, name it player, and turn the solid off. And that's it for step one.